Hello, welcome back again. And uh, now let's do a very simple measurement of our simple electric circuit. So let's take the switch back and it has turned on. <coughs> we could start by measuring voltage. I know that our battery is 9 volts. Can we see that through the meter? Yep. So this is positive terminal here. This is negative terminal. I know this side is negative terminal. So if I put it here, actually now it's reading 7.1, 7.2. Yes. We've been using it a lot, so it's draining. So the voltage is not exactly 9 as it's supposed to be. It has gone down. Okay, we could measure several things. We could measure the voltage across the resistor, for example. So if this is the resistor, we could measure what is the voltage drop across this resistor, you see? The resistor has dropped 5 volts. Nice, what about the LED? Let's go again. The LED has dropped how much voltage across it? Two. Do you see this? This is a simple circuit. LED has dropped two volts. Resistor has dropped five volts. But we have a battery here with seven volts. So this is seven, this is five volts, this is two volts. Five plus two is seven, exactly the same is the voltage rating of our battery. For now, it is supposed to have nine, but now it has seven because we have consumed it. We have utilized it for a long time and current has gone down. Sorry, voltage level has gone down. It has been drained in a way. Because this voltage is passing through the resistor and the LED. So the total voltage here, a portion of it is dropped here and the other portion is dropped here. We have seven here. Five is dropped here, as we have seen. And two is dropped here. Can we measure current? Or can we check the value of resistance that we have here? Yeah, we can check resistance. Let's check resistance first and then finally we'll check the current. Let's check the resistance. So we put this to 200k. If so this is 200, 2000k, 200k, 20k. Uh, 2000. Let's put it there. Usually in a normal way, if you want to measure the resistance, take this off. Because you don't need power to measure resistance. As you can see, I have 224, 223 ohms. In terms of current, things are different. We put this one, we put the meter in series. So, if we want to measure current, We know our current should be, yeah, 20, let's go to 20 milliamps. You have to place the meter at a higher value a little bit. So 200 milliamps. And now, if we want to measure current, it has to be in series with the circuit. So <coughs> to do that, you can either take this switch off and use meter here, or take this switch off and use meter here. I will prefer to take this switch off and use meter there. So remember always the polarity. So this is positive is from this side, negative is from this side. So always this is positive, this is negative. What is the value of current? 22.4 milliamps. It is in series, the meter is in series with the circuit, that's why the LED is lighting. If we take this from the circuit, from the connection, you see the LED goes off. So that's how we can measure current 
in a simple circuit. That's how we can measure current in a simple circuit.